Hello. Let's look at the notorious chain rule. The chain rule is used to differentiate composite functions, such as uh, this f, which consists of uh, g composed to h. The chain rule states that uh, for the given uh, g of x and h of x, two di differentiable functions, the derivative of the composite function f of x, which consists of g of h of x, is the derivative of g of h of x times the derivative of h of x. So we first derivate the function itself and then we also multiplied by the derivative of the argument of that function. Another way to look at this is uh, using the Leibniz notation also is to derivate each of these uh, components of your function separately. The derivative of the final function of the composed function is going to be a product of those separate elements. So if we consider y to be f of u where u is g of x and they are both di differentiable functions, then the result of dy dx is going to be the product between dy du and du dx. While we are at this uh, chain rule, let's uh, talk about a power of a function also, because we already know how to calculate, we know the power rule, which uh, applies to x at power n, but what are we doing when we have uh, a function g of x at power n? So if we consider y to be equal to u at power n, where u is a function g of x, then we can say that d dx of u at power n is going to be very similarly to the power rule n times u at power n minus 1 and also times du dx because we don't have just x, we have u, we have to multiply by the derivative of u in regards to x. Or maybe this is more clear, let's say instead of that u, let's use uh, directly g of x. So d dx of g of x at power n is going to be, according to the power rule, n times g of x at power n minus 1, but because it's more than just x in that parenthesis, we're going to multiply also by the derivative of g of x. We're going to have to practice with uh, more examples for this uh, chain rule probably, but you'll see it's actually quite fun as soon as you uh, get the hang of it. So let's uh, stop here this lesson and I have one more lesson for you to complete this uh, set of um, rules for uh, derivating polynomial functions.